my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about compositing. Though this could also be used for design. It was made for compositing, so let's call it a compositing tool. So today what we're going to talk about is the snapshot feature. So the snapshot feature is really useful and super easy to use. It came out with Harmony 20 and just got refined in Harmony 21. So yeah, let's give it a look. So the snapshot feature is located within your camera view. You can find it right there at the bottom, just near the percentages thingy. And it is composed of two icons. First, you have the eyeball with a camera and you have a camera with a number. Now this camera with a number can have many numbers from one to five. And here you can see that in mine, snapshot one to three has nothing here, but snapshot four and five says empty. This is because at the moment, I didn't take any snapshots on the fourth and fifth option available. So the snapshot tool will only be visible in render view because it is a render tool. So it shows you how your stuff has been rendered. So at the moment, I have three options in my camera. I have one, two, and three. Three is a an option where my compositing has this very sharp highlight and option two has a more smooth highlight. I can see it because I'm using the eyeball right here. So the snapshot features allows you to save five different options in your render view and uh, kind of change between each of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to use it, it's super easy. All you need to do is uh, go to the desired option. So I'm gonna go back to one. And in my highlight node here, I'm going to go ahead and change a few things. So I'm going to go on my color here and put it green. And my radius will be put to 4. And if this is my first option, I'm going to click on my camera icon and really like click it. Like this. Click and release. This is going to make this option option 1. Then if I click and hold and I go to option 3, for example, it doesn't change anything in my render view. But if I click on the eyeball, it's going to make me alternate between what I have here and what my option 3 was. So if I click here, I'm going to see option 3. Remember how the green was option 1? Well, if I go to option 2 and I press on the eyeball, I'll have something different. Then if I go to highlight and I change it again, I'm going to change it to a blue color. If I don't press on the camera button and I just click and hold and I choose, my option one that I saved earlier, that was the green option, will appear if I press on the eyeball. Okay, so the takeaway with this is that the eyeball will allow you to see whichever number you have here. And if you want an option that you have to be saved as a number, you just click on the camera. Not click and hold, really just like click it. Um, I don't often use all the different snapshot options. Usually I just use one. So I'm going to have my current active uh, compositing and then I'm gonna save like one option and just alternate between them but people to do more advanced compositing find great use into the five different options disclaimer this is purely for like how your render looks the snapshot doesn't save how your properties and how your uh, nodes were set up this is really just to see your render so usually I'm gonna have my highlight right there on the side for example save this as option one and then just go play Maybe like have a radius of 10 and then I'm going to use the eyeball to alternate. So that's what I mean by usually I just use one option and it's really just to fiddle uh, with it. Because then if you if you mess with multiple nodes, then your options are just one click away to see them. So, so that's it for the snapshot feature. I'm going to explain to you in a little... So I'm going to just give you a little quick review. Super easy. You make an option. You choose which number you want to save it to. Once you have it, you press. And when you press, it takes a picture. And then if you change your current render view, when you press on the eyeball, it will allow you to alternate between whichever number that you have. All right, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.